Here is a video about creating your own Google search story. So if you're on my information overload blog post and you click on create your own Google search story, it'll take you to the video of the Parisian love that they showed during the Super Bowl. But you can skip that and go over to the right and click on create your own. You come to this page where you can put in your search terms. I have one that I've written down and you probably do want to write this down and storyboard it so that it it works out for you well. So I'm going to put in Kurt Vonnegut, one of my favorite writers, and do a web search. And then the second part is Kurt Vonnegut and I'm going to do an image search. Now as I go down you can see that it previews down here so I can see what each search returns. So I'm going to go to my third and I'm going to put in a book that I read rather often, Palm Sunday, and I'm going to do a search on books. And below that, so you can see the book comes up here, and below that, I'm actually going to put that book in again because I know that he wrote some of that book in the county that I'm from. And I'm going to put in books, and it's actually going to return a reference to where he had bought this, where he had written some of this book in Nashville and Brown County. So I'm going to put in Nashville. Indiana and I'm going to put in maps. And it comes up with the maps but it is covered with ads over here but you get the idea. And then I'm going to put in another book that I enjoy. And I'm going to put in a phrase from the book that I know. And I'm going to search blogs. And then this last place here does not search it. It actually allows you to write something and it will appear in the search screen. So I've created my search story here. And I'm going to click on next. Now I get a chance to look at my music or to, to listen to different music. Um, you can always edit this. You can go back even if you decide and you don't want to use any, if you want to change what you have. It's going to give me a preview. Ah, I'll go with that and go next. It's going to create my search story. And I can preview it here. And I can edit it or I can change the music. I'm going to keep it as it is. And then I can title it. I can give it a genre. We'll stick with drama. I can describe it. I have to click that I have adhered to the YouTube guidelines and I can upload it to YouTube. I do have to have a YouTube account though. And this is the same as a Google account. So if you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account. It's going to upload it to YouTube. And then as you see, I have to sign in. and it's uploading.